It's got a funny name, and it's not something we usually eat, but alfalfa is still important to cattle and to Nebraska. And like other crops, sometimes it needs to be rotated. We spoke with an expert who told us some things to look for. Market Journal's Brad Mills has this report. When you think about alfalfa, you may not realize its importance compared to other Nebraska commodities. It's the third most valuable crop in the state and makes up about three quarters of a million acres. Partly because of our land conditions that allow alfalfa to grow very well in many cases, works very well in rotations, and of course with our livestock industry needing that kind of protein feed available to it, uh, alfalfa is such a, a natural type of feed resource for us in this state. But the benefits don't stop there. Alfalfa is one of the better conservation types of crops. It produces its own nitrogen, so we don't have to use nitrogen fertilizer on it to grow the crop. Uh, being a, a solid type of stand, it's very good at conserving soil and not having erosion occurring. Uh, it's an excellent one to work with crop rotations. Uh, can boost the overall productivity of other crops. For instance, our research has shown that uh, in irrigated corn, we don't need to add more than about 90 pounds of actual nitrogen uh, per acre to grow a full irrigated crop uh, uh, of corn in our situations. Anderson says if alfalfa is being grown in a dry land situation, it's ideal to have a couple of plants per square foot with around 25 shoots coming out. For an irrigated stand, three or more plants per square foot with 40 or more shoots is best. And as farmers prepare to harvest their alfalfa, paying attention to the age and fullness of your stand is key. Growing in dry land versus irrigated conditions comes into play here too. Here in the state of Nebraska, uh, the average alfalfa stand tends to be six to seven years. Uh, although there are a lot of fields that are over 10 years old and still have fairly decent stands, but I think we need to really think about whether we ought to be keeping some of those fields if they're dry land, uh, because the rotation benefit can really be beneficial by rotating through the fields more often. And also, if we're growing that alfalfa dry land, once we have a stand that's more than about four or five years old, that alfalfa root is probably down 10, 12, 15 feet deep, has extracted all the moisture that's available down there, and on an annual basis, we don't get the moisture recharging down that deep. So uh, we're ending up with lower yields just because all we have to produce growth on the alfalfa the next year is from the annual rainfall that we get. When determining if alfalfa stand is healthy, Anderson says it will be nice and green with lots of leaves. If you see weeds or lots of discoloration, that's a bad sign. Weeds tend to give us a clue as to when those plants are starting to get a little bit uh, too thin or aren't vigorous enough to compete with the other weeds out there. So especially we start seeing our alfalfa stands getting weedy, especially year over year getting more and more weedy. Uh, that's a time to really take a close look at that stand and decide whether or not we want to be looking at uh, maybe putting out a new alfalfa field and using the rotation benefit of this old field for a different crop. If you've decided it's time to rotate your alfalfa field, certain crops will do better than others. Probably the best choice oftentimes are grassy type crops, whether it's wheat, grain, sorghum, corn, something that you normally would have to use nitrogen fertilizer on to produce it. That will give us our biggest benefit. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Brad Mills.